Zelensky, um, rem remember him? Um, he has laid out his massive special mega plan for victory. Um, would you like to read out his genius formula, Alex? Because I mean, quite I didn't see any of this coming, quite frankly. I mean, it's a it's sure. a masterstroke. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, he he went to the Brzezinski, <laughs> Brzezinski school of uh, surprise surprises. I don't know, man. Yeah, and uh, no, he went to the, the the Kissinger school of hard knocks and the Brzezinski <laughs> school of subverting your enemy's expectations. Go right. Right. Yes. Uh, so yeah, I mean, Zelen Zelensky has a uh, five-point plan, um, which uh, he's calling a victory plan. Before you know, his last plan was called the peace plan. Uh, yes. He he was apparently advised that that makes them sound like pussies. So you know, yeah, <laughs> he's got the victory plan now. Um, and yeah, it, it's chock full of surprises. Um, I didn't actually see a bulleted list anywhere. Um, but I kind of. Uh, took notes from what um, what was being reported in the mainstream media, um, and so I, I crafted what I imagined to be the five points based off of those reports, and th that would be join NATO in the European Union as number one, number two as use what Western weapons deep inside Russia, um, continued occupation of Kursk slash don't accept concessions, so don't give up Crimea or, or Donbass. Um, yeah. Develop a strong non-nuclear military deterrent inside Ukraine. That's number four. And number five would be grow Ukraine's economy. Um, so this is like this is like he's like writing to Santa Claus, you know, um, except that Santa Claus has been banned in, in Ukraine. Um, yeah. I don't know, man. I'm, get, I'm getting a little silly here. Korea as well. And North Sorry? Korea, he's, he's been banned in North Korea as well. Right. <laughs> right. The so, him. And According to uh, Reuters, um, Ukraine is asking for a uh, NATO membership invitation before Joe Biden leaves office. Um, so this is clearly um, trying to uh, Trump proof NATO, as we've talked about many times on the show. Yeah. So that article is uh, right here. It's coming up. Um, Ukraine is asking for NATO membership before Joe Biden leaves the White House, arguing it would be a fitting legacy for a U.S. president, a senior Ukrainian diplomat said, uh, our idea is that giving Ukraine an invitation at this moment is a political signal. Uh, Natalia Galabarenko, Kiev's ambassador to NATO, told Reuters. So Zelensky has been um, making the rounds throughout. He's gone on uh, yet another um, media uh, tour. Um, he's mm -hmm. talked about this plan with um, – with, uh, Joe Biden with uh, Keir Starmer together with Mark Rutte, the uh, new um, Rutte, Rutte. Uh, what is the chair? Rutte. The yeah, president. no, he's he's Rutte. Mark, Mark Rutte, who is a yeah, he's a he's a fan of NAFO and has like you know a, 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 appeared with NAFO posters in public. He's a former Dutch uh, prime minister, and I think yeah that he's he's now the he's now the um, uh, the, 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 chair? the the chair of the the chairperson of NATO. No, it's Jen. Is he replaced Jen Stoltenberg? Secretary General. Yeah, I think he's. Yeah, he's Secretary Secretary General Secretary yeah. General of NATO. So they, they've the gotten term. rid of one. They've gotten rid of one very bland European kind of career politician and replaced him with another one. Um, yeah. Um, a self-described lib like self-described liberal. Sharp. Right. <laughs> yeah. So very bizarre. <laughs> Uh, even CNN has been like trashing this. Um, so Zelensky yeah. unveils victory plan after failing to drum up additional support from allies. So, you know, what's important here is not, you know, he met with Mark Rutte, uh, Keir Starmer, Joe Biden, Emmanuel Macron, uh, Olaf Scholz, Georgia Maloney. Uh, and it says in the CNN article, let me just pull it up in the lead. In the lead-up to his public announcements this week, Zelensky discussed the peace plan with leaders in the United Kingdom, France, Italy, Germany, and the head of NATO, a tour that ended without any countries publicly supporting the plan. So uh, all is going according to plan, apparently. Um, yeah. This is from this is from Nexto, which is like a rapidly pro-Ukrainian outfit. I keep kind of messing up uh, the presentation here. I apologize, oh, guys. Okay. It's a little slow That's today. Yeah, I mean, I just think, oh, yeah, um, I think it's it's important. It's important to, just, just uh, which again, sorry, okay. 
Go I ahead. was just I was just going to say that like the fact no, 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 that, the fact be, that be the, the fact that the fact that Zelensky met with Starmer, who like w very much wanted to frame himself as a wartime prime minister and was all in on Ukraine and saying we're going to support them as long as it takes, and that even he hasn't supported this. Like that is damning. Like this is this is it. This is over now. Yeah, and so next, a uh, rapidly pro-Ukrainian outlet uh, notes. Ukrainian social media users criticized the victory plan for vague wording, inflating expectations from allies, and the absence, in fact, of a real plan of action that could lead to Ukraine's victory in the war. In the West, too, the plan has re was received with skepticism. So far, these five points look like Zelensky's wish list to the West. Um, so again, that's from, I mean, even Zelensky's allies are, are mocking this shit. Um, I wanted to pull up from the senior security editor at Build, I keep, damn man, I keep messing up the. Uh, mm. I apologize. Guys. Jihadi, as I said, Jihadi, it's a late. Jihadi Julian, Jihadi Julian, as he's affectionately known. Right. So he's tweeted. I'm going to read both these tweets as soon as the translation loads. Uh, Zelensky's victory plan is, ouch. <laughs> Joining NATO is not going to happen. Permission for deep strikes inside Russia with Western weapons is not going to happen. Joint defense against Russian aircraft is not going to happen. And the liberation of the country is not even mentioned anymore. Speechless. And the, the second tweet's even yes. better. Uh, what leaves me speechless is not that he is putting forward these points, but that, but that they are all points whose implementation has already been rejected by Western partners. He puts partners in air quotes um, in scare quotes uh, because he thinks that uh, the West hasn't done enough for Ukraine. Um, the plan does not include a single point that could realistically lead to a turning point on the battlefield. So again, a German editor of a another rapidly pro Russian newspaper i mean build is a major newspaper in germany it's not it's not nexta yeah. you know um yeah and yeah so, rap rapidly um, rapidly pro you rapidly pro ukrainian build and like yeah i mean the the, 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 the julian um got the name jihadi julian because he was all in on the cia mi6 dirty war in syria and was like um, he he's been he was all he's a he's all in on Ukraine, um, but uh, uh, but has gotten pushback from certain sectors of the Ukraine kind of online cult because you know he has on occasion been honest about how utterly dire the situation is for them, and it's like oh well this is Russian disinformation. No, they're screwed, and they're being allowed to um, uh, they're they're being they're being cut loose now. Um, I think like pretty 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 decisively. Um, I think, you know, and it's, it's interesting that this is almost completely dropped off radar. And it's like, I mean, there are a number of um, uh, a number of uh, 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 prominent both pro and 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 uh, Ukraine and pro-Russian uh, 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 social media users who track the the um, the state of the front line in real time. And like, you know, town after town, city after city, territory after territory is falling to Russia. And it's like almost anticlimactic for both sides now. It's just a bit like, well, just can you just get on with it? Because it just seems like it's a foregone conclusion now. Nobody cares. Like, the, you know. Anyway. Well, I, I, I think that the design, th this victory plan was designed, um, as, as uh, the build editor notes, um, filled with things which have already been rejected. Um, yeah. And so I think the idea here is for Zelensky to be able to say, look, I had the victory plan. The West wouldn't go along with it. They threw us under the bus. And so really try to save face in front of a Ukrainian population, which he has uh, bore uh, the most responsibility for, you know, wiping out um, for sending mm -hmm. them to their deaths in an unwinnable war. Um, and, and, and this victory plan allows him to kind of say, Hey, well, I tried my best in the West. The West abandoned us. So what problems that will create with a, you know, generation of radicalized neo-Nazis hardened by battle against Russia, uh, what kind of problems that will create for the West remains to be yeah. seen. Um, I think that we all know where that could lead. But um, I wanted to play this exclusive uh, clip obtained by active measures of Zelensky's appeal to Western <laughs> leaders. Give me money. Money me. Money now. 
Me a money needing a lot now. That was Charlie's line. Yeah. So there you have it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and I think I think as well. Yeah, I mean, it, what you say is, is bang on the money as ever, Alex. Like this is was a large ditch effort probably for a domestic audience to say, well, I tried um, because, I mean, it has been acknowledged widely, um, even by the mainstream media now, that there is a huge problem uh, that Zelensky faces. I mean, and this is what effectively caused the war in the first place, as you've written about, Alex, which is that there is a fanatical far-right like uh openly neo-nazi um contingent within ukraine they are have always been a very very vocal minority um the overwhelming majority of of, of ukrainians do not subscribe to neo-nazi ideology but the people the people who have positions of power within ukrainian society within the military within politics do and um they i mean the, it, 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 Zelensky's life is going to be in danger if he capitulates, which is kind of like inevitable um, at, 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 at this point. I mean, I'm, I'm almost shocked we haven't ha had a palace coup, coup yet. Um, that could be forthcoming. And I think that, yeah, that when um, when the uh, when the final crushing defeat does come, um, then like all hell could break loose in Kiev uh, because they have a there is a I mean, yes, uh, as Alex says, there is a large number of people possessed of really, really quite repulsive and dangerous, violent views who now have ba uh, battlefield experience and easy access to uh, weapons. Um, what might they do to the people who, quote unquote, betrayed them? Um, and I, I, this is a point that I've made many times, um, and it bears repeating, that the the empire using um, Mujahideen fighters as their shock troops in the Bosnian um, uh, war, um, that led to 9-11, because after the war in Bosnia, when they had used, the, the, when their, um, their utility was all used up from the empire's perspective, they demanded that the Mujahideen leave Bosnia. Um, many of the, the fled to Albania, where they joined the Kosovo Liberation Army, which is this kind of Al-Qaeda-linked narco-terrorist group. Um, but then others um, were were caught um, were leaving Bosnia and sent back to their home countries, and they stood trial uh, in Egypt. And there were dozens who stood, stood trial um, for major terrorism offences, and they were put to death, and Osama bin Laden wasn't happy about this. And then you have a, he, he announces a jihad on America, and one way or another, this leads to 9-11. And several alleged 9-11 hijackers were the veterans of the war in Bosnia. Okay. Um, also Chechnya, which which I've written about, was likewise a, a CIA proxy war. So I mean, yeah, the, the the stakes couldn't be higher, but like nobody seems to care. I think that yeah, that the the attitude now is well, let's just let this slip off off the, the mainstream news radar and just pretend it's not happening. And you know, I mean, there's that meme of like the dog sat in the room on fire. I think I think that's where we're at um, all round. But um, so what uh, you're I, saying, I'm sorry. so what you're saying yeah. is that the blowback from Azov could be like nine eleven times a thousand. Absolutely, that's exactly what I am <laughs> saying. And you know, I I, um, <laughs> I mean, we laugh, but I mean, we're probably be, we're probably top of several hit lists at this point, Alex. Hey everyone, um, if you enjoyed this video or or any of our other content, uh, please give us a follow on Twitter or subscribe to us on YouTube. It will help us beat the algorithm oligarchs. Thank you.